What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be driving the Camry. A while ago, some of you commenters on the hot take we did saying that I drove this car too slowly and I think you are right. There was no tire noise, no tire squeal, no excitement. It was just some good old fashioned back road fun. But this time we're going to throw this thing around and it's still it's not going to be much faster. It's a slow car, but what's more fun, as you just saw in the intro, is we have modified the exhaust. Sort of. When I first bought this car, it had a tiny exhaust leak, but through my ownership, it has gotten worse and worse. And one time I looked under there and saw that one of the header bolts was missing. Initially, I didn't think this was an issue because the leak actually sounded pretty good. I was like, oh, okay, I can kind of hear it. It's cool. Uh, but since then, and this happened within the past few days, all three nuts that secure the midpipe to the headers have fallen off. So right now, the car is essentially open headers. It's very loud and I thought this would be a good opportunity to take it on some back roads because what better way to experience a car than at its loudest point. Thank you. You thought the Camry was nice. No love for the MK though. No love, yeah, true, no love for the... Got all, dude. Camry's got it all. Once this car's around. Someone actually in traffic, and I was, I was like flooring it full out. Somebody offered to buy this thing for me, which is so funny. I, you can hear it in the video. There's like a honk, a horn. As soon as I ended that clip, the guy pulled up next to me and he asked me if I'd sell it. And I said, never, but I should have said it was $10,000 because that's realistically what it would take for me to sell this car because then I would just go buy another one and pocket the rest. That's damn inflation, dude. Everybody wants Toyotas now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're all story. No one can afford anything else. Everything that's cars under hundred dollars. But anyway, we're going to start this thing up. throw the GoPro on our head, get some good POV driving and some cool exhaust sounds. So here you go. You want to hear what a 2.2 liter 5S FE engine is with open headers, what it sounds like. It's your video. Dude, I don't know why, but that's so much louder than I was expecting. Like, it's... it's no, it's so loud. It's it, so loud. It's coming out from it's right here, too. Like, it... When you're driving, it's so vibrating. So how the hell do you not have a check engine light? Does this car, like, not have... No, good like, question. No, I do have a check engine light. It's come on before for the O2 sensors. I don't know how it's... It's, just, it's, uh, it's uh, I gotta it fix itself. Yeah, it fixes itself. Yeah, it's what it does. It goes on and on. Yeah. Although, you brought up a really good point. Is there anything coming out of the tailpipe? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It doesn't even know where it is. I don't know. <sighs> it's like nothing. It, no, it's, it's like... It's, very, it's like a very slight... Yeah, it's like slightly warm. That's it. I haven't done this yet, but this is a good, this, you brought up a very good point here. Oh That's my so god. Easy to fix. Oh, everything's right here. But it's right there. It's Everything vibrates, as you would expect for All right, Miata. We make about the same horse, but no, I actually make a little more than he does. <laughs> I don't know if this tire noise is going to translate on the video, but as I was saying, um, everything sort of vibrates. Um, I would not recommend doing this on your Camry because unlike some cars with open headers where it sort of spits out at the bottom This spits out right in the engine bay, so it really does kind of just Spit back into you. I mean, it's essentially spitting out like right there um, But it's fun and it sounds not too bad actually I don't 
know it's vibrating. I mean, we went over it in this last video, this, the whole slow car fun concept, but this camera is so much fun to throw around some back roads. It just, it has so much emotion and it's just so, it's just so much fun. Like, yeah, it is super slow, but who cares? It's fun. And you can hear some tire noise, it has body roll, like. <laughs> it's just fun to drive around. And the two definitely helps. It's a perfect gearing for what you'd really use on roads like this. GS400 we drove a while ago, the 1998 GS400, we had commented in that video that it sort of had like the DCT farts upon upshifting and with this exhaust lake this thing kind of does too and it's really funny. Oh buddy, he was way too far over on the road. I don't know what he was doing but that was not very cool of him. Something in here. Oh, something in the trunk's not happy. It's funny too, because it's the four-speed automatic, I sort of have to like, when I want it to upshift, I sort of just kind of let off a little bit and then it, it upshifts and then I, I sort of let off and then get back in it. <laughs> oh my goodness. This exhaust is so rowdy though. Like it, it's, it's too much. <sighs> Suspension's very soft. Also don't know if that's going to translate very well in video, but these roads are like, the car's very um, boingy, as we'll call it. You got to have a lot of confidence though. You can't, you can't let the wheel sort of guide you. If you let the wheel guide you on these roads, you shouldn't on any car, but especially in this car, it's just going to, it'll send you right off the road. There's too much elevation change. brief like four day period this car has been like this I have gotten so many looks from people and a lot of them are angry a lot of people do not like this and I don't blame them it's annoying like when I'm coming in the neighborhood at night I try to kind of go slowly I just let the the torque converter do what it does best just hang out like right at a thousand rpm just trying my best to not give anybody a reason to be pissed off at me but it still happens anyway and because it's the nature of this car, I mean, it only makes 143 horsepower. Like, sometimes you kind of do just have to use all the power. And there's no getting around the fact that you're just going to hear it screaming away. If you want to drive this car quickly though, you kind of have to, you got to be really confident in the car <laughs> because the, the suspension, I, I, wanna, I don't know, it almost gets like a second wind. Like I feel like there's the initial part where it sort of grips up and then it resettles back into itself and then it like rips up again. But you got to get past that first initial like, oh shit moment before you can get to the, ah, there's my grip. Okay, we won't be too noisy to the people living here. We don't want to make everybody hate us, such as people outside. They don't want to be part of our little, I guess I'll call it science experiment here. They're just trying to go about their day and we are disrupting the peace with our terribly loud 
junky car. And this is sort of the situation where this exhaust then becomes very annoying. I'm just trolling around town. I don't want to bother anybody. But you don't have a choice but to bother everybody. Oh, I need to accelerate? Very loud. Here, the crispy downshift. Oh, well, they have a stop sign. I'll do one of the, my favorite things to do in this car. Highway on ramp time. actually not too bad on the highway, especially when you have it up at like, well, these speeds. I almost never cruise at these speeds. <laughs> you see why, because there's no torque. But it's pretty, it's pretty loud. And this whole area sort of vibrates when you're going uphill. Actually, I'm, I'm really surprised. When you go fast, when you have a close of 3,000, it's considerably more livable. So, the open headers is actually better at like 80 than it is at 65. It is so quiet. Holy smokes. I don't think this car has ever been this quiet in my entire ownership of it. I can hear my own thoughts standing next to it. And like, I, I can talk to you guys while it's running behind me. Crazy. I hope you all enjoyed this little, I don't know if I'll call it a science experiment. More so just a uh, fuck around and find out sort of video. This is now how the Camry is going to stay. It was fun having the exhaust leak, but as a daily driver, it was really annoying. So. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, like the video if you want to see more random stuff like this. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.